Hello everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Chess.com. Um we Wait, this is our this is the game we lost at the start of the last episode. That's weird. What happened to the game that we just won? Hey, it doesn't matter. New new 10 minute game. You you cannot create another challenge with the same parameters. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> uh, Angelo Giron. You thing is you can't create another challenge with the same parameters. We we went one and one. In the last episode, and I am here to tell you that I don't think we deserve to. We we deserve to go. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Is this allowed? We deserve to go. Oh, and two. That's not how that went down, though. This is not good. Because I'm like, e4 is now such a powerful move. Because it exposes this right here. We have to move back. Then maybe you do that. Eh, it's not that bad. It's not good. It's not that bad. Actually, actually I kind of like this open game right here. We are down a, a bishop versus a knight. So that is... Uh, honestly, like they've gotten some arbitrage there. But that's okay. Are you putting pressure on... Is that what you're doing, you son of a gun? You're trying to put pressure on this piece? How dare you? Who do you think you are? Trying to put pressure on my piece? Okay, so I think they're going to castle. Or they're going to try to castle. Which is honestly fine by me. Um, this is... I, I kind of like our structure here. I'm, I, I don't dislike it at the very least. Um, I expect a castle, at which point we would probably respond with, uh, that's not how bishops move. Queenside castle? Yankee with no brim? Um, this is, this is very strange, but I'll tell you, I love this. Let's see what you're going to do with that white bishop. The, I think, I'm just being straight up with you. I feel like the queenside castle was just not very good here. Um, and I am going to capture your bishop. Uh, the reason I feel like the queenside castle was just not very good is because uh, you have this huge open diagonal here. I guess I wouldn't suggest that it's like truly terrible, but it, it seems like not great to me. Um, If you want to capture this, I think this would be a dream come true. Because you're like the bishop having access to this exposed diagonal is fantastic. I can't imagine that you would want to just give that up for a knight that's not doing anything. I wonder if you're gonna like do this. You're gonna try to like put some some weirdo pressure on me. I don't know. Is is it? It's very strange. Actually, you know what? That was a great move. On the other hand, um, it doesn't get us out of it, but it does get us out of it at the cost of only a pawn. Because you'll do knight to here. Well, no. You'll do knight to here. That was a good move, actually. I can't imagine you would do anything but knight to e3. But I'll give you credit. That that move, I didn't see that coming. I'm just trying to think about how I want to play this. Um, we want to protect this, but we also want to keep some pressure on this. Honestly, there's a certain temptation to just, like, push this. The only thing is, if they move their king, then, like, I'm kind of out in no man's land for, for no reason. Um, I think we need to acknowledge that this move for the enemy is very powerful, uh, and it creates a situation where I move this and we lose a piece. So I think that what we would want to do is probably just this in order to protect against that. So they're, they're going to try to move it back, I suppose. Um, I think we like this now. This bishop was in a precarious position. And if you want to... 
capture then capture like I don't, I don't mind you here quite frankly um I'm just thinking just studying it you know how dogs is and all that cuz I am cause in my head I'm like hold on no you can't move your rook there cuz then you'll be you'll be toasted um I think we want to cover this, cover this flank. If you want to do it. It does screw up our pawn structure. We are down a pawn as well. You're going to you're going to you're going to push me and then just touch me so I can get my satisfaction. Satisfaction. <laughs> Scooby doo boo doo boo 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 I'm sorry, I'm 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 thinking, okay, is my thinking music? You wouldn't understand. I mean Let's do this first. It seems a little cheesy, and it is a little cheesy. But we can actually thread and mate. Um, it's probably, it's like a trap. It's probably not going to work. But I think we should try. And I actually, I, I prefer screwing up our pawn structure because it opens up this C column. And whether this is actually correct or not is, you know, I, I don't have an answer for you. Um, what I will say though, uh, that I think this, this cancels out the potential mate situation we could have had, unfortunately. Um, I like this though, actually. Now, now that I think about it, I like this to keep this rook trapped. We should have done that earlier. They can protect it. It's just, uh, well, now I don't like it <laughs> nearly as much. I haven't been thinking about the past few moves. I apologize. I still like it, but then this move becomes kind of powerful as well. But they got to find some way to deal with uh, rook to e1. Yeah, yeah. I I kind of I mean we're down upon is doubtless. I kind of prefer our position now. So I'm like, what if we? This is not a great move, quite frankly. Um, but I, I feel like we kind of got plays. Like, what if we did this? I expect this. We do that. And then in the future, we still have access to this move right here. And our queen has much better coverage along this diagonal when it comes to making an attack. Really don't want to trade. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, are we, we're down on time. I don't love that. This seems like a pretty pivotal moment, though. Um, I want to put some pressure on this pawn and also... You know what? I think that's a move. I think that's a move. It allows our queen to get access down here. We knew something like this was likely to happen, but it allows our queen to get over here and, and put some possible threat into play. Um, and I, I think we can start to milk for some pawn advantage. Like in my head, I'm like, okay. Okay. What if I do this? All right. You can't take. You're dead if you take. So what do you do instead? What's your, what's your response to that? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> I also like to live dangerously. So why can't they take? I think they just... No! An incredible move to give their queen access down here. But in my head, I was like, if we take here, they can't take because they would be in a discovered check. But now with the queen being here, the world has changed. 
That's a really good move. I'm on like I'll I'll give you credit. That's a really smart move. An astute play. What if we did this? Then you reply with something like that. Hmm. This this is a gamer. This is someone who knows what they're doing. I've scrolled up accidentally. My apologies. This is one where you'd really prefer to have more time. So what are we going to do? I'm going to try to put pressure on this piece. I'm just going to try to get multiple threats going simultaneously. They could force the trade now. We are two minutes down on time. We're, we're at a disadvantage. But we're kind of, we're driving the play temporarily. I, I definitely feel like we're at a disadvantage though. And you know, at the end of the day, five minutes is a pretty long time to think about it. Had to do something like this. Puts a threat on that. Then if you do something like this. I'm like, what do we do? It feels like there's a chance. Okay, yeah. It feels like we could reply with like this. I don't know if it's a, if it's a good play, so to speak. <laughs> Like, if, okay, if I do that, you take, I take, or you take, I take. I don't know, man. Let's get, let's get weird. If we're down, I feel like a more complicated position behooves us. I don't know if I would necessarily call this position complicated, but if they give up access to, like, uh, this square, like, here's how I see it in my head, all right? They move their queen. Let's say they move their queen, like, here. We take, they're forced to take. We take, they have options, but I think we have to try something here. I think we have to try like um, take, you take, I put you in check. You will move your king at that point. to hear I don't know man let's we only got two minutes left <laughs> times are getting tough so I am I don't know we can't we can't do this check we'll be we'll be killed this is an exciting game for sure I think we would all agree this is an exciting game so I, I go here you are forced to go here. What if I go here? Then, oh, you know what? I mean, it has to be done. So let's... Like, this This might cost us the game, but it also might be the only way to truly experience what it means to live. I think we can force a pawn. Because, like, you only have this move... And this move. If you go here, then I go here. And then you're forced to go back here. And then I go here. So I, I'm forcing them to either give up the pawn or take the draw. Which would benefit us being down a pawn right now. I'll take it. Honestly, I'll take that. <laughs> I think playing our way into a draw there was pretty good. Let, let's see if the analysis uh, agrees with me. Being down a point and getting a draw out of it feels good. Okay, so this is our second draw. Only our second draw in the whole series, I think. Um, never mind. We were we were up by four and a half points when we accepted the draw. <laughs> a wild back and forth game that settled peacefully. All right, so we're playing. Let's go to the analysis. That's a funny one. How do we? We had a blunder. No, we had no blunders, but five mistakes. That's pretty bad. 
Um, so we're going to not keep moments, not keep moments. Okay, keep moving. Take me to analysis. They like it. They hate it. That was a hugely poor move. But then they're also like, that's trash as well. Okay, fair enough. Best move, best move, best move. Good move. Good move. It's a good move. It's a good move. Where's where's the next? I'm looking. At, I see an H6 in the future. Hold on, hold on. That was a great move. Thank you. Very questionable. That gave us a, an advantage. That was a great move. Good reply. It's a good move. They like the pawn to c6. I, I agree, actually. We should have done that at some point. h6 was a major mistake. And then that was the best move. Really? We're down by... Oh, because it allowed this. But then look at the reply. That was the best move, dude! Well, it was tied for the best move. That was a move I didn't know how it was going at all. It's a good move. It's the best move. Very questionable move. It's a good move. We don't care. Okay, you know what? Now the game's tighter again. You know what? Now that I think about it. This this was an inaccuracy. E2 was better. Very true. Put some pressure on this pawn. And then we, we could start driving the game more. Like, it should elucidate my points a little more. The rook to here is better. It puts a threat here. It also puts a threat here. Um... Now, mind you, the king is blocking that, but they have to constantly, you know, use a piece maybe, or at least screw up their pawn structure in order to protect this, because a, a queen to here is mate, if we can get our queen there, and it is on the diagonal, although there's a bunch of pawns in the way. Um, but then, like, if we go here, it necessitates uh, some sort of way to keep this uh, pawn safe. Either you, you probably do something like that, so it's protected by the G-pawn, or you move your rook here, in which case your rook is tied up protecting a low-value piece, or maybe you move your queen back, which gives up a little bit of space and power projection along like that, that vertical and that diagonal. Again, that's not how queen moves, but you get the idea. So yeah, that would have been better. This was, this was to try to stack the column, but if we had moved here, it also allows us to stack the column. So I think that's... That's my idea of how the analysis went there. Best move. Good move. Best move. We're at an exactly even game. Best move. Remember when I said, I don't know what to do, but this feels right? What can I say? Oh, highly questionable. That gave up two points. That's the best move, dude. Because you know why? Good pressure here, but also good pressure here. So this is where I started to pull it out. That was the best move. That was a good reply. That was a questionable move. And you know, it, it's the same thing when you make one mistake. It tends to stack up worse, but anyway. So we should have done that at, uh, at an earlier juncture, but we should have done it there too. That's a good move. It's the best move. It's the best move! I'm a genius! It's a terrible move! Best move. Best move. Best move. Best move. Best move. Questionable move. They want me to just take the pawn instead. I don't know, man. On a... I, I know I shouldn't be happy with the draw, but I kind of am. <laughs> so let's uh, let's play another one here. I, I can live with that. And we, we were like exactly the same rating almost, so we both broke even on that one. All right, we get to play the white pieces here. Okay, this is a very fast gamer. I feel like we've, we've found ourselves in this position before. Like, why are you moving so fast? I, I didn't want to do this covered attack. I know that sounds weird. Here's something that happens in chess all the time. Why am I moving fast just because he's moving fast? It honestly feels to me like this guy's playing on tilt. And we have 10 minutes. That's a lot of time. We only make like 30 moves a game. We can take... 20 seconds of move and be, and be totally fine. I really like this push right here. And like, if you're going to castle queen side, I love this because this is like just totally open. Um, so, I mean, honestly, there's a little piece of me. It's like, why wouldn't we just do something like that? And then I know what you're thinking. But honestly, this is a weirdly kind of good play. He has to do something to defend this. 
Because if we go check, he takes. He, he stopped it. That's fine, though. That's fine. Um, is this, like, really bad for him, to be clear? So now, in my head, I'm like, we don't, we don't have to go fast. One thing I would definitely consider... I want this piece gone. But I'm also like, if we go queen here, you take. Check. And I'm like, where, where do we go from there? Doesn't seem quite good enough, unfortunately. I like knight to here as well, because obviously that's a good fork if we can make it happen. Um, but I'm like, I don't like... Maybe I do like queen here. Queen to here, I should say. No, you take, you take. You know what? I I don't mind this at all. Let's let's get weird. This is actually like a really good move. I don't know why I didn't expect that. <laughs> On the other hand, hear me out. Go ahead. Please take it. Please take it. That's a really good response, for the record. Um, now we're kind of in a trickier spot. Because we can still push. This is still pretty good. I feel like I do still like some of this, but hear me out here. This piece needs to be freed. I feel like we could have gotten a lot more out of this situation than we did. Alas, we didn't. Keep the pressure on here. Yeah, yeah, keep the pressure on here. Your king's side is destroyed. Your queen's side is destroyed. What are you going to do? Where are you going to castle? You got no place to castle. You got no talent. There's no words on it. Uh, would you like to trade your uh, bishop for my knight? Just checking. Maybe yes, maybe no. You would? That's sweet. I forgot you can't even castle. <laughs> can't go there. Can go here. We're going to try to stack up some power on the C rank. We're okay. Um, it's a pawn. If you want to swap, let's swap. I still prefer my structure. We're going to try to put a lot of pressure on this area right here. So we, we've been playing pretty pretty terribly. I would love this trade. I still love it. Their pieces are completely undeveloped. This bishop is a little dangerous to get back here. That That's a guarantee, but um, they, I'm not letting them free this rook. Like, that's the thing. You're, you're not getting this rook out there. I want to trade. I want to neutralize this bishop. Now, we don't have to worry about... Okay, well, you did get a pawn out of it, so there is that. Um, fair enough. <laughs> so we're down two points. We have a bishop versus a knight. And our bishop's developed. I actually feel like we're losing, which we deserve to, kind of. Um... 
because we have not been playing a very astute or sensible game here. Um, and yet, here we are. That, w that was a, a fairly big play that allows us to, you know, get some extra advantage out of where we just were. Now I'm like, hold on. I take. You move. I go down. I take. You take. I go here. Dunk. I go here. Okay, I like this. Now we should win. We have we have a considerable advantage in the pawn structure. How do you want to play it? So now we can afford to do some some sacrifices more or less. So here's how I would probably play this. Something like this. I can't believe we're going to get a win here. This was this was a very strange game. Yeah, they've resigned. Three blunders. Please don't speak to me about this game ever again. <laughs> Just a total disaster. And yet, when it when it mattered, we pulled something out. And you know, we're we're, we're doing a little better. We're doing a little better than we were at the start of the series. White had some considerable advantages, and then uh, Black had a considerable advantage, and then White had a considerable advantage. A wild game, and you came out on top. This, this is one where I think key moments is going to be big. That's our last book move. Everything, oh, not standard. But you have given, white still has a significant advantage. So here, what would you prefer on this move? Is it this? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a really good move. I, I did notice like it restricts the access of the queen to cover anything. It forces a move to a position that may be like, you know, it pushes you back, at least. So, sure, I understand that. Now, the, the whole I was just going to say, the whole game is like key moments from this point onwards. So that queen to there was a terrible move. I wonder if it's not just this. That's a blunder. But I'm like, you can't take. Otherwise, I can just go... No, it, it makes literally no sense. Take me back. <laughs> Instead of this... What, is it this... Is this okay? We got sorry. We got to go back to key moments. You hated that. What what's the best move then? It was that okay. So that would have given us a five point advantage. That's a huge difference. Again, questionable. Let's retry this one. You moved there. What do we like there? You know, it sounds weird. I wonder if that's not part of it. Even the computer is like, what's happening? So why is this good when they could just take or take? It opens up the space for our knight to get into a really good position to, to threaten this piece. We'd have to do something about that. Honestly, you know, I don't know. What's the best move here? They still like that. Okay. Gives us a huge advantage again. Very questionable move. It's a mistake. But we do still have the advantage. The best move would have been uh, trying to keep force the bishop out. Okay. I told you, it's Blunder City, dude. It's now a balance game. So what? let me retry this one. I mean, there, there must be a better move here, then. It's a blunder. For this to be a blunder, there must be something incredible. Is it just that? Wow, that's a six-point advantage. <laughs> it also threatens that. So I can understand why. I'm telling you, dude, I'm so... Okay, and then this one should have just been that instead. Or the bishop. Okay, sure. Um, I'm telling you, the, look at how many key moments are in this game. This is like the worst chess I've ever played in the series, but we're still getting results, kind of. Like, we're, I think we're at two wins, a draw, and a loss in the last two videos. That's not that bad. Black is clearly winning on that. Okay, I mean, that's a slight difference. There you go. Best move. The best reply to your opponent's mistake that kept him locked on the back row. This is a blunder. <laughs> best move would have... Oh, that is so good. Okay, that's a great place for that bishop to be. It controls a lot of space in there. Game changer. This is where things got real. 
Game changer. Game changer. Okay, and then we just won. That was a that was a an absolutely terrible and very messy game. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Always a pleasure to play chess on YouTube, and I'll see you next time. See ya!